it's here and it's awesome the prayers have been answered the gods have given us this greatest gift this year so far and let me tell you it's something else why are you even watching my video go watch this movie this movie is you have to it's an experience you need to watch this stop watching this video go buy HBO Max right now and go watch the fucking movie In all seriousness, this movie, it deserves a lot. I feel like this movie was like a passion project, and Zack Snyder really delivered. He wasn't happy with the Joss Whedon cut, and the team wasn't, so they're like, hey, we can make this better. And they did. They proved everyone wrong that thought this was going to be some sleeper movie. The fans that were asking for this cut, their expectations were high, and I feel that movie went over their expectations to the sky this movie this movie's it this is what I'm talking about if you guys seen my WandaVision review you guys know I'm not really in, big into the Marvel Universe anymore but this DC thing if Zack Snyder please Zack Snyder if you're watching this please please sir please make a second Justice League movie we need it it's it'd be such a shame to go off of that cliffhanger at the end it's it needs to happen hashtag release Snyder cut Justice League 2 let's start out with just how the Zack Snyder cut was um phenomenal it's four hours long and what's crazy about it is you don't even notice like two like the first half go by really fast I personally was really hooked into the entire movie and I've talked to a lot of my friends and I've seen other YouTubers talk about their reviews and they they say the exact same thing they weren't bored at, in a single minute everything you see is something new the character development is there the soundtrack is there the the acting is there believe it or not it's it's there a lot of the Joss Sweden stuff was cut out like completely and they reshot a lot of scenes. They took out Superman's mouth and they fixed that. Thank you. Everyone's looking at Henry Cavill's mouth and it's just like, I don't see it. Because that whole mustache and they had to cover that and it was awful in the original cut. They got rid of that. And that's, that's good in my book. They do a lot of character development, which is really missing in the original cut. And that's important for like any story, any movie. It could be a a bad movie but it needs character development in order to like understand and have emotion for the characters and the characters side characters and it does a pretty bang up job cyborg's character is great flash's character is great you learn so much about him in this in the first two hours and they go by really fast and you stop and you're like holy crap that much time went by and it's it's important and Ben Affleck really good as Batman he he's underrated I'm not gonna lie he's not my favorite Batman but he's really good at what he does for this version of Batman they brought Jared Leto back in the end he's not he's not the he's not really in it until like the last 10 minutes of the movie and he's I don't know He's his good. He's his own good Joker, you know. It's just like how, yeah, just like how Batman is his good. Ben Affleck's own Batman is good by himself. They fixed a lot of problems with the original cut. They took out a lot of scenes, some lines that sounded really cheesy. They added more of Darkseid's character, which I really liked, and Steph, Stephen Wolf, Stephen Wolf, Stephen Wolf's character. His he looks like somebody literally out of doom and I love that and it really fits with the whole genre of this movie and just how dark and gloomy this movie can be and his body armor is alien tech and it looks so much better um, he's a guy not to be messed around he's not just thrown in it like he was originally and just some bad guy that's some little pussy boy but this this Steppenwolf I really like and he does a lot of damage 
Um, they, sh as I said, they show a lot more of Dark Side, and you get to know more about his motives and who really Dark Side is. No one really knew who Dark Side was if like you just saw the movies. So it was just like he was probably mentioned once, and that was it. But in the Zack Snyder cut, he he makes appearances, and it's terrifying. And have some close call. It it I don't want to get into spoilers, but it's they're good scenes. There's some gory scenes. Like I like the appreciation of what Zack can like make it violent, but it it doesn't need to be violent. But like people get cut in half, someone's hand gets chopped off, there's blood spurting all over the place, someone dies of a concussion to the head. It's it can get brutal, and I, I like that, and it definitely didn't need to be added, but I'm glad it was, and it's just fun and more enjoyable that way, in my opinion. But no, you see more of Dark Side, great character development on Cyborg's side, Flash's side, you learn a, mo a lot more about other people, um, learn more about Wonder Woman, you learn more about, s not as much Superman, because he had his own movie and everything, and same with Batman, I mean... You already know enough about them, but other other characters of the Justice League, they're pretty spot on. Soundtrack, phenomenal. I, I love the guitar riffs. I love the um. I don't know. I don't know. It's it's a good soundtrack. You got you you gotta listen to it. I I, I have no words for music. That's why I don't review music. <laughs> so yeah, the only minor minor problems I have is some of the CGI looks a little a little corny like you can tell it's CGI there's some scenes where it's just nothing but CGI and it's just like it's not awful though I mean like you get the gist of it and it's not terrible like I've seen in some CGI stuff but CGI not a big problem I have very little to say about the CGI because a lot of it's good but some of it is just like, that could have been worked on a little bit more. But I have no big issues with it. And the last minor problem was, it's, it's again, it's with me, it, with me, it's always who pays for the damage that the superheroes cause and the, when they're fighting villains and everything. It, it's that little thing, you know, and that's just like my personal opinion about it like it's still fun and it's awesome and I love the the whole fighting thing in this movie but in the back of my head I'm like god insurance is gonna go through the roof today but uh yeah um characters are great music's great story is great worth my four hours and I think it's worth your four hours too I'm gonna give this movie a 9.5 out of 10 I know I know I know not a 10 out of 10 I know I know but it's up there and that's our first 9.5 out of 10 on this channel this movie it was worth the hype i i hope i hope and i pray every night that they make a sequel to this hell even a trilogy i would love the Zack snyder whole trilogy of this justice league and his envision of it and i and i hope it happens remember the hashtag anyway Hope you guys enjoyed watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, this video is out so late. I recorded this once and I ch went to go edit audio. Fucked. Had to redo this, but I'm glad I got a reshoot because I feel like I made more points to my argument of this review. And yeah, sorry I'm late. Um, more reviews though. Watching Winter Soldier soon. Watching Queen's Gambit. I want to finish that and reading books school started up again so it's gonna be a little bit busy it's gonna be a little bit of delays here and there but shouldn't be any worries anyway thank you guys for watching see ya we got a number one victory royale yeah fortnite we about to get down, get down. 10 kills on the board right now just wiped out tomato town my friend just gone down i revived him now we're heading southbound now we're in the pleasant park streets look at the